Hello, Tab Nation. It is Tom Beach again. Today, we are going to be looking at how to kind of expand onto your clipboard. Uh, you know, you're using your clipboard, Control C, Control V. Maybe you're accessing it through a contextual menu, what have you. Uh, you're really only storing one variable at a time. That's kind of annoying. Uh, at my job, I definitely am doing a lot of back and forth where, you know, I have one application where I need to copy multiple pieces of information separately over into another application. And I find myself having to go, you know, copy one piece of data, switch to the application, and paste it, go back, copy the second piece of data, go back and paste the second piece of information. It's quite annoying to constantly being alt tabbing between windows and just losing my spot or you know whatever so this is kind of my way of improving a little bit onto the clipboard and being able to store multiple different things um, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the code here now i've done a lot of videos based on pretty much everything i'm going to be showing you here today so i'm not really going to be going too in depth on what every single piece of a function does uh, you know, definitely check out those videos if you want to know a little bit more and want to manipulate this. This is just more kind of a, like a showcase kind of video for you guys um, that you can, uh, you know, do whatever you want with. So I still want to keep my normal functionality with the clipboard as far as being able to use control C and control V. That's just what my hands used to doing on the keyboard. Um, so I'm using control C. But instead of automatically copying whatever text I have highlighted, we're actually going to go ahead and get a uh, context menu here. And uh, for here, I'm just using up to five different keys. So I can store up to five different pace, pieces of data at once. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that so you can understand a little bit better. Let me run that script here for a second. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and push Control C on my clipboard. And let's go ahead and copy some of this data that I uh, just made up here real quick. So I'm going to highlight my first piece of data, control C. So as you see, all these clips are empty. And uh, I do have a clear all here in case you want to clear out the whole thing versus having to like reload or uh, close down and reopen the script. Um, that's just a fast way to do it. So we'll just go in order here. So I'm just going to clip, uh, click, uh, cl click, clip one kind of a little tongue twister there for me. I can also just push one after I push control C, but I'm not really gonna use that because that's kind of a little bit of a stretch afterwards. So I'm just gonna go ahead and push that and uh, do it again. And as you see, that data has been stored into that variable. I'm gonna clip C, three, and we'll just do four, that's good enough. And as you see, all that data has been saved. Now the way that data is being saved is when I click on that menu item, we're jumping to a handler. Uh, as you probably know, I'm not very creative with a lot of my variables in these videos. I just kind of keep them short and simple in these. Um, so we're just either going to go clip save one, two, three, four, five. So I'm not going to run through all five because they're all exactly the same, except for the variable number uh, count just changed. Um, so it's going to jump down. We're going to temporarily turn off the hot key up here, control C, uh, just because we do actually need to use the real control C function real quick. So it's just going to send control C and then it's going to turn that hot key right back on. So now that highlighted text has been put into my clipboard and then we're going to take that clipboard uh, string and go ahead and save it as clip save one. And that's where that data up here when you re uh, open that menu is being saved. Let's put it over here, see? Whatever was there. And then I can go through and, you know, do it again and it will just replace what was ever there last or just do the uh, clear all to have them all erased uh, starting completely over. Now, let's jump down. So as you see here with the clear all, all it's doing is just, you know, the variable equals nothing. Just clearing it all out. So now let's go to the paste functionality of all this. So we're going to do control V here and we're basically getting the exact same menu here uh, that we saw up above. Uh, the only difference really here that I did. Um, so when I push control V, let's go ahead and take a look at that. There we go. It looks exactly the same. The only difference you're seeing here is that it says paste versus copy. 
Uh, and then here I wrote script and set a clear all, and you'll see what that does here in a second. And that's where I'm going to find this very useful, I think. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, once again, we're jumping down to this handler. Uh, we're going to then take whatever that variable is I called upon, put it back into the clipboard, temporarily turn off control V, send control V, which is paste, and then turn control V on. So let's just do one right here. Spread it out so you can see a little better. So I'm just going to paste tap nation. Boom. Tap nation. Easy peasy. Now the one right here where it says to uh, go to script, uh, that's going to jump down here. And what we're doing here is this is me calling upon all four of those uh, variables that I had saved. Well, I guess more than four. So go script. It's then going to take the clipboard and it's going to format it this way with all the line breaks. So as you see in here, I'm saying like some basic text, and then I had the variables in there too. Once it saves that to the clipboard, we're then going to, once again, temporary turn off that control V, send control V, turn control V back on. Um, so let's do that in here. So let's delete this data. Let's go ahead and push control V. We're gonna push script and boom. It just pasted that entire script that I had made with all the variables from what I captured in control C filled out. Now, the only thing I can think of really that if you want it to really do in this and you want to expand is maybe after a paste, maybe you want to go ahead and just clear out the variable. So you could do like, um, you know, control V equals, or sorry, clip save one equals. So then maybe after you do paste it, it just automatically clears it out. That's probably a good idea to do. So I'll leave that one in there for you in case you want to copy it to the other different ones. And obviously with the context menu, you can add as many as these as you want. I just felt like five was plenty for me. But if you want more or less, go for it. All right. If you guys have any questions about this or want me to expand on it in any way, definitely let me know. Uh, also, I'm kind of curious to see what you guys would be using this for. I could definitely see people using this a lot for like their job or something. Um, or maybe even like studying like some schoolwork or homework or something. So let me know. I'm kind of curious to see what you guys end up using this for and maybe how you manipulate it to work a little bit better for your use case. All right, guys. Thank you so much. and I'll see you on the next one. Make sure to subscribe.